This is one of my songs, it's called Maintain. All right. I've been a musician since I was probably like 13. I don't know if you could call it that. I just wanted to learn. <laughs> you know, Temple was the very, very first time that Eddie Vedder was ever in a professional recording studio, right. ever stood in a vocal booth, so. Oh man, this is so much of my life and childhood. <laughs> I'm a producer and uh, engineer. I came to London Bridge as that. Basically my role as an owner now is to help protect the legacy of the place. So this is the live room. You see how instantly the sound changes? You know, just meticulously built. So the drum kit would be up here on the riser, and then the rest of the band down here on the floor with headphones. London Bridge opened up in uh, 1985. It was so seminal in the grunge area. Soundgarden, Pearl Jam, Alice in Chains. It's dizzying almost to think about all of the different artists that came through here and what a creative pot that it, it's been. I think playing in front of people is very similar to racing. Uh, I was telling Eric, I'm like, this is the most excited and uncomfortable I've ever been in my <laughs> lifetime. You have to find your groove with no adrenaline. <laughs> it's just different. You ready for some chills? I am. All right, <laughs> let's get to some serious ones because this is kind of the center point of the studio. You know, Lane Staley, Eddie Vedder, Chris Cornell, they've all stood right here and sang in this vocal booth. You can kind of feel it, yeah. You can. I don't think there's a plan with me with music. I just love it. So, man, I got a couple things for you. Oh. Wherever it takes me is where it takes me. I don't know. I just enjoy it. Shaping, give what you 